The deal on Iran's nuclear program is very much rooted in science, revolving around the element uranium. In its natural state, it's composed of 99.3% uranium-238 and 0.7% uranium-235. And it's this specific uranium-235 that's fissile, meaning it can create energy and also be turned into nuclear weapons. To do so, it needs to go through a process called enrichment. At between 3 and 4 percent, it's enough to fuel nuclear power reactors. But to create a warhead, it requires about 90 percent enrichment. Iran enriches uranium to 3 and percent, insisting it's for peaceful energy purposes. At the moment, it has more than 6,700 kilograms of this type of enriched uranium. But it also has a stockpile of nearly 200 kilograms of 20% enriched uranium, which raises concerns because that can be more easily converted into weapons-grade material. Under the deal, Iran has agreed to curb its nuclear activities for six months. It's the first pause in more than 10 years. And Iran is to stop enriching uranium beyond 5%. Now, negotiators still have to work out what happens to the existing stockpile. But the important thing for Iran is that its enrichment program will remain active. And in the words of its president, Hassan Rouhani, Iran's right to enrichment has been recognised.